Okay, this is uh, Bob Kramer in Kramer's Garage. I'm putting a 1983 overdrive transmission into a 1980 motor that had a standard five speed. Um, why would I wanna do that? Okay, the um, overdrive transmission will turn about um, 4,000 RPM at 70 miles an hour. The standard five speed in fifth gear turns almost uh, 5,000 RPM at 70 miles an hour. So it's a difference of between 800 and 1,000 RPM when you're cruising down the highway, which makes a significant difference in how hard the engine is working and fuel economy. So what I've got here is this is the uh, 1980 engine block, and I have already put the 1983 transmission in it. The 1982 trans or 1980 transmission is laying here in pieces just to give you an idea of what's involved. All right, now, furthermore, in 1980, the uh, transmission had a simple neutral switch, one position switch. In uh, 1983 on the Aspen Cade model, they went to a six position switch uh, which indicates all five gears plus neutral. So I wanted to put that six position switch into this 1980 motor. So in addition to changing the transmission, I had to make some modifications up here on the shift drum. So um, the modifications were this fork piece that drives the switch um, I had to shorten that and make it much a uh, much lower profile. I had to pin it on to the 1980 shift drum, so I had to drill a hole here to pin it on. Um, I also had to make this piece about um, 0.5 millimeters thinner, and I made this piece on the back side about 0.5 millimeters thinner to gain another millimeter because this was pressing tight against the switch. Now, I also had to purchase a 1983 front engine cover. There it is right there. So I bought the 1983 front engine cover from a salvage yard on eBay. And I installed the six position switch in this cover right here is the six position switch. Right there. Okay, so there's my six position switch. And um, now when I bolt this cover up, that switch will be driven, will be driven by this fork on the end of the shift drum. Okay, and I've uh, worked and worked on this to make sure that it works, and um, I'm quite confident that it will work. So I'll now have a, an overdrive transmission in a 1980 motor. Now, um, I guess the question is, why would I want to do this? And I did this because I had a 1980 motor sitting here with only 40,000 miles on it. And I wanted to put it into a 1983 Aspen Cade, which is sitting right here. This motor has 112,000 miles on it. So I'm uh, completely rebuilding the 1980 motor. This bike, by the way, is my daily driver. It runs pretty good. However, the compression's lower than, than factory. And so I wanna restore it to factory compression and, uh, and restore the original performance of the bike. So anyway, that's my 1983 motor. So um, I'm completely rebuilding this motor with new rings. Um, I did considerable work on the valve train, which is in another video. Um, and I'm now getting ready to uh, reassemble the cases and, and uh, get this thing back together. So anyway, that's, that's my uh, transmission swap project. Please subscribe to my channel if you're enjoying these videos, and I'll keep making them. Thank you. Bye.